looking like the fog was going to play havoc today, but lucky enough it lifted and we got the first leg away on the dart. Roger Preston had some problems starting. I'd say that motivated him to push pretty hard up the river. May have lost some time, but I'd say he's still got the lead. Hard charging Mike Pauley, hey he was there again, pushing hard that pre-boating and all the time they spent on the river, he was definitely pushing Roger hard. And finally a big welcome to Mr NZ1 to the Otago River Race. Yeah thanks, good to be here, but probably a bit scratchy, first time I've been in the boat since a marathon so it'll take a couple of legs to get dialed in again so we got here but it was a bit rough. In second place, CX, Callum McKenzie, shows that the river doesn't discriminate. think you're doing all right you're trying to chase down just about there and then whammo yeah yeah and that's meant Richie Foster has moved up a place yeah yeah we have moved up to second at the moment but yeah there's still a long way to go the stay's not over till, till we're on the trailer at the end so we'll see how we go Simon Bagri's problems continue uh, slipped across a few shelves One, took one too many, and um, yeah, and the yeah, water temperature got too hot, so it was poured into the bank, and yeah, that's where we stayed. It was a hiss and a roar downstream, but the top three boats Roger Preston, Mike Pauley, John Derry will be all very close. Mechanical problems for Callum McKenzie. Sounds like his fuel pump has given up the ghost. And the man dominating CX class went for a bit of a wild ride. Got put in the wrong channel, yeah, led into nothing. We hit a bank and get it around, had a little bit of a push to get back in the water. Uh, yeah. Don't know what it's done to our lead, but just to point out. Cap's closing up, isn't it? Uh, a wee bit, yep. Yeah. We're just pedalling away. Another another good run will be quite good. All the problems have gone away, so we can concentrate on our driving now. Yeah. Roger Preston, leading overall and unlimited, had a great start, but all Mike Pauley had to do was pull 10 seconds out of him upstream. From the chopper, it looked like he was well on track. On the start of the third leg, Byron Campbell was two minutes behind Richie Foster and it was going to be a race to the end as Byron had taken a minute out of him on the morning leg. He'd finished the leg right on Richie's tail, meaning he'd almost taken a minute out of him. Simon Bagri continued up to the cathedrals. I think he's the way up to find that new lake up there. <laughs> yeah, no, he's gone a wee bit further than he's supposed to. He can't have seen the tent. All the other competitors thought this was great. Second place in FX class, Greg Wilson, thought it was unlikely that he's going to catch Andrew Scott. What's the times back to 349? Yeah, no idea. <laughs> Don't know. It'll be a minute something. It's not very much. So, yeah. yeah. Either of us gets stuck, it's out. Yeah, so, whatever. Yeah, we'll just keep going and see what happens. <laughs> Meantime, Riley Scott was making up for not having his camera running yesterday. Yeah, we've got the camera going today, so we thought we'd make a bit of footage so people can see it's not as easy as everyone makes it look. So, we were coming upstream. And there was a white boat, Stephen Price, in front of us, and he was high and dry. And it just put us off a little bit, and we just thought we'd just go right up pretty much beside him. And just bar after bar, until there was no more water, a few more revs, and big push to get back out. So, it's a good weekend, we're enjoying it. 
so beer will be cold tonight. Final downstream leg, Craig Robertson in CX class managed to find quite a goat track. But left coming down than we normally would, just one channel and it just kicked us out to the left but I boated it oh, with the Targo branch three or four weeks ago so I knew it did come out but um, but yeah, it was still fairly exciting motoring. But it was Byron Campbell who didn't leave anything on the table. wasn't anything left in the boat and I don't think I could have driven it any harder so there yeah, we'll see how we get on. That wasn't enough, Richie Foster managed to hang on for the CX1. I probably pulled 7 to 10 seconds out of us so I think it's neck and neck so it's down to the wire, This it's do or die really. Unsure of race positions, Roger Peston took off to try and maintain his lead for the last leg. Would it be enough? Not if Mike Pauley had anything to do with it. When Mike puts his brain to it, pretty hard to stop him. With a drive like that, he was a man possessed and was always going to get the one. And that's it for the ITM Otago Twin River Race. What a glorious weekend.